Okay, we're going to switch gears here and we're going to talk about some of the best ways to help your kids become independent. Kids have all different types of personalities. Some like gators and snakes, others <laughs> like Barbies and toys, but most of them have one thing in common and that's the desire to do things on their own. And here to talk with me more about fostering independence in our kids is our favorite doctor, Marty Erickson. She's a de developmental psychologist and host of the podcast, Mom Enough. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being here. Glad to be here. And this topic is one of my favorites, I have to you say. Know, when I was little, I wanted to do everything by myself. Mm -hmm. Well, we're programmed as human beings to really push for that independence. And initially when we're toddlers, when we're two to three years old, that's the developmental task and kids really need that. And they need opportunities to exercise their independence or else they really will fight Parents, you know, it ends up in power struggles if you don't give them opportunities to make choices within boundaries and to do things on their own. And then parents today, you know, are so overprotective, so many are, yeah. and they're kind of what's sometimes referred to as snowplow parents, where they're always clearing the barriers, mm -hmm. making things easy for their kids, but then their kids don't become ready for adult living, and we're seeing a lot of that, really. How do we change that so we mm -hmm. help parents do right by their kids instead of sheltering them and making life so easy because that's not how it is in the real world when they become adults. No, and they get off to college or out in the workforce and they're really ill prepared to handle things and their parents are sometimes calling their professors to complain about a grade. If anybody ever did that when I was a professor, I would have screamed. But uh, you know, it's something that we really need to help parents understand the importance of it, number one. Our job is to put ourselves out of a job yeah. as parents and we also then need to give really concrete tips and I have a few of those today. All right, let's talk. <laughs> yeah. Well, the first thing is you want to engage children in meaningful work. And that can be um, participating in family decisions. Mm -hmm. It can be, um, it, you know, clearing the dishes. Even when they're two or three years old, they can so do chores, meaningful things. Chores. Chores, for sure. Um, you know, with older kids, they can help find affordable activities when you're going on a vacation. So engage them in understanding budgets. And, mm -hmm. you know, all of those things translate to life skills later on and start it immediately when they're taught. And I'll say, parents, if you do this now, when your kids are, well, they will never be millennials, but when they're older, they won't have to take these adulting classes. Uh, yes, that's right. That we see popping <laughs> that up. That phrase just <laughs> kind of makes me laugh. And tell us about <laughs> your recent trip. Okay, all right. Well, I was in uh, France, in Provence, and on the Riviera, and then a little bit of time in Paris with my dear daughter, Erin, who co-hosts Mom Enough with me, and her dear daughter, Clara, who's 14, going on 15. <laughs> it was just so special, the three of us together. Um, we like to photograph our feet, Very so we nice. remember how we felt and what the view was in that particular place. That's Clara, who uh, is taller than I am now, but uh, nice time uh, relaxing. it was so special. And and you know, Clara is a really good example of being independent and we've really done the things that that I recommend and there are more tips that will be on your website and, uh, and on ours. Kudos yeah. to you and your daughter. We know it takes a village. Keep it being does independent, indeed. Clara. Yep. <laughs> and of course, if you want to learn more and if you missed some of this segment, that's okay. We will post this segment on our CARE 11 page as well as a link to Marty's website. 